this is another question and uh, they can ask you simplify this and you can see here that the question looks like very difficult but in fact if we will use the law of indices and we know the formulas then it will be very easy what i have done in first step you can see i have uh, uh, taken this new denominator i will make it numerator with changing the power a power q will become a power minus q and the whole power p plus q will remain as it is in the next step here i have done again a power r will go in the numerator and it will change the sign of its power a minus r whole power remain at as it is and here you can see a power p dot a power r so bases are equal we can add their powers so i have add their powers and the whole power p plus r remain as it is in the next step the bases are equal again you can add the powers bases are equal you can add their powers so i have done this step right as you can see now the next step is that if we have a power m and whole power is n then it is converted to a power m multiplied by n so this law i am to using here a power p minus q whole power is p plus q so it will convert a power min p minus q and multiply by p plus q similarly this step is going here right and again this step i am using here they are multiplying each other in next step i have done you know uh, if we have a minus b multiplied by a plus b then the formula which we will use a square minus b square first term equal second term is equal between them positive negative sign so we can write here a square minus b square so i am using here in power form same here and here we have p plus r p plus r two time multiplying so p plus r will become p plus r whole square right in the next step again bases are same so we can add their powers right and what i have done this division sign shows we can make it write it here denominator so i am writing here as denominator because it's a division sign so we will not change the signs right because it is already divided we have done this step and here when you will add the powers you can see q square plus minus they will cancel each other and we have that p square minus r square in next step what i have done this a will become to new, go to numerator and with the changing the sign of all powers it will become minus p square minus r square right and plus 2 pr will become minus 2 pr so changing their signs here so here a p square minus r square and you can see we will change the sign of each and every power term so i will write here then in next step what we will do bases are equal so we can add their powers so we will add them you can see p square minus p square will cancel each other but minus r square minus r square we give you minus 2 r square and minus 2 pr no the power of this base is minus i want to make it in positive sign so i will take it as in the denominator as i have done here so you can say in the you can see here we can take two r as common in the exponent so we have let p plus r so our answer will be 1 over 5 a 2 r into p plus r so in this way we can simplify our given question or simple just you have to use the definitions and the law of indices which we have uh, learned earlier